Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe my channel. In this video we will talk about Top 10 places to visit in Scotland. So make sure to watch the full video. At first glance, the Scottish landscape is harsh, foreboding fortresses atop hills and cliffs, the desolate moors. But spend some time here and you'll quickly realize Scotland has its own unique beauty, breathtaking highlands just made for hiking. Scotland is a land of legends and romance, from Robert the Bruce and Macbeth to Lake Monsters and the tragic Mary Queen of Scots. And, yes, real men do wear skirts here. An overview of the best places to visit in Scotland. 1. Loch Ness Most travelers visit Loch Ness with one thing in mind, they want to see Nessie, the legendary lady of the lake. You probably won't see the Loch Ness monster, but a cruise on the lake is a fun way to search. Loch Ness is quite deep, more than 230 meters, 750 feet, in some places, offering plenty of hiding places for Nessie. It's huge too, holding more fresh water than all the lakes in England and Wales combined. Take a stroll along the lake or visit quaint villages, including Drumadroket, home of the Loch Ness Exhibition Center, scattered around the lake. Climb Grant Tower, which watches over the iconic loch, peer into a miserable prison cell said to have held the legendary Gaelic bard Donald Don. At the Loch Ness Center and Exhibition, you can learn about the legends of the country's most mysterious sea creatures. 2. Edinburgh Located on the Firth of Forth, Edinburgh is Scotland's capital and has served as the seat of Parliament since the 15th century. The city has oodles of things to see and do, and is the second most popular tourist destination after London in Great Britain. Of course, you'll want to see its famous castle and Royal Mile, the main route through Old Town. Edinburgh is a city famous for its many festivals, including the Fringe, the world's largest international arts festival, and the military tattoo. You may recognize the city as the setting for several movies, including the prime of Miss Jean Brody and the Da Vinci Code. 3. Hebrides If you like Scottish Gaelic literature and music, the Hebrides Islands is just the place to indulge your passions. An archipelago off Scotland's west coast, the Hebrides are known for this culture. It is here that George Orwell wrote 1984. The windswept islands have a quiet beauty to them. More than 50 islands, including the Isle of Skye, make up the Inner and Outer Hebrides. The islands have great beaches and you're likely to see seals and seabirds. Pack those hiking boots because the Hebrides is all about the great outdoors. 4. Glencoe One of Scotland's best-known glens or valleys, Glencoe is stunningly beautiful in its sometimes harshness. Located 26 kilometers, 16 miles, south of Fort William, Glencoe is nestled between hills and mountains, including the pyramid like Buachailet of Moor. As you travel through this U-shaped valley, be on the lookout for the monument commemorating the 1692 massacre at Glencoe when the Argyles ambushed the McDonald's. Glencoe is very popular with hikers and rock climbers with trails that are accessible from the road. Glencoe is especially popular with winter climbers and skiers since it's the ski area closest to Glasgow. 5. Stirling the wolf is an honored animal in the central Scotland city of Stirling. According to local legend, a wolf howled when Vikings were about to invade, thus alerting villagers to the attack so they could save their homes. Stirling is a good place to see a medieval Scottish town, complete with imposing fortress, 12th century castle and church where Mary Queen of Scots' son King James VI was crowned in 1557. The Church of the Holy Rood still conducts services on Sunday. Stirling also was the stomping grounds of the legendary Robert the Bruce. 6. Loch Lomond and the Trossachs Aye, Loch Lomond is a bonny lake. Tis not we by any means, since it's the largest inland lake in Great Britain. The lake contains more than 30 islands, including Inchmurran, the largest island in freshwater in the British Isles. In 2002, it was combined with Trossachs, a small woodland glen, to make the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park. Scenery, including seven waterfalls, will take your breath away. Outdoor activities abound, beginning with fishing, golf and easy walks and ending with camping, bicycling and climbing. Plan to visit Inchcalia to see ancient church ruins and burial ground. The Queen of Scottish Lakes, according to author Walter Scott, the largest lake in Britain. 
With its waters filled with trout, salmon and whitefish, it's a popular destination for anglers. Though it's been used by generations of Scots as well as visitors for boating, water skiing, swimming, and picnicking. One of the best ways to experience it is to take a boat excursion or a hike around its shores. At the south end of the loch, is Ballock Castle, an early 19th century country house. 7. Inverness Britain's most northern city, Inverness, is the gateway to the Scottish Highlands. Located at the northern end of Loch Ness, Inverness is a good place to visit in Scotland if you like to walk. Walk along the River Ness to the Ness Islands, the Caledonian Canal or the churches along the river. Stroll, too, through Old Town with its old stone buildings and a Victorian market where you can buy crafts. Take a walk by the 19th century Inverness Castle, but don't expect to see the inside unless you've been naughty as the castle currently provides local court service in Scotland. In that case, you may want to say a prayer at the lovely Inverness Cathedral. 8. St. Andrews People go to St. Andrews, a town northeast of Edinburgh, for many reasons. They go to learn, the University of St. Andrews is the third oldest in the English-speaking world. They go to play golf, St. Andrews is the home of golf and the most frequent venue in the Open Championship. They go to relax, St. Andrews is a pleasant coastal resort town. They go for history, to see St. Andrews Castle sitting on a cliff overlooking the sea and city. Or, they may go to pray, St. Andrews Cathedral was once the largest cathedral in Scotland, it's now in ruins. 9. Glasgow Now the largest city in Scotland, Glasgow dates back to prehistoric times on the River Clyde. The largest seaport in Britain, it was once an important hub for shipbuilding and trade with North America. It's a good place to visit, where you can immerse yourself in friendship, charm and music, the city hosts 130 musical events on average per week. You'll find historic medieval buildings such as the Glasgow Cathedral and the Old Antonine Wall, a shopaholics paradise with more than 1,500 stores to tempt your pocketbook and a variety of sporting events. Bell isn't the only one to rave about Glasgow, National Geographic Traveler named it one of their top 20 best of the world destinations for its world-class architecture. And Orkney 70 islands, including 20 that are inhabited, make up the Orkney Islands, an archipelago off the north coast of Scotland. Orkney residents predate the Romans by several thousand years, and once were part of Norway. It has some of the best preserved and oldest Neolithic sites in Europe. The prehistoric Ring of Brodgar, a circle of stone formations used in rituals, is a must-see. The islands are a good place to see seals and puffins, as well as a variety of local art and galleries and museums. The capital Kirkwall is the largest town in the islands. Orkney's most famous landmark, the Old Man of Hoy, is an imposing 450-foot sea stack on the island of Hoy carved from layer upon layer of old red sandstone. Its shaping can be traced back through the centuries through maps and paintings. In 1750, it was depicted as a headland, but just 70 years later the stormy seas had carved the rock into a stack and arch. What do you think about our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure hit that like button. Also subscribe our channel before you go. Thank you for watching video.